So here we are at our Leadership Unplugged series with my friend, Doriana Zohil Morton, who is the president of the MAC Group. Doriana, it is so wonderful to see you. Welcome to my country, because you welcomed me so graciously to Montreal when I met you. Yes. And you know, one of the things that you and I immediately clicked on was your passion around females and women in leadership. And so talk to me about where that fire comes from. Oh gosh, I'm going to get really personal. Um, my mom came from a family of seven. She was the youngest and the brightest, but could not have higher education. She was born in the wrong country, the wrong time. Um, you know, it's beyond passion that I have. It's love. This is yeah. like true love. We have yeah. so much work to do. We yeah. are making strides. Yes, we are. Uh, but there's just so much more. And, and, you know, I take that into the business as well. And our business is, is diversified. The MAC group is temporary accommodations, okay. real estate, destination services. It's bundle, yeah. And, and our team is diversified and, and we're always looking not just for diversity, but to hire the right person. Yeah. And um, there are opportunities. We're, we're also, our fun, really fun piece is Mac Caribbean Villas. That's where everybody wants to join oh, our team. Oh, is that team, right? Yeah, you, you don't not. have a talent shortage down there. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. So, you know, the way we look at it is there is opportunity all the time and more and more so for women so we have to listen yeah yeah, yeah. We have to learn yeah there's always been opportunity and, and hopefully with some of our organizations we started a group called women mobilizing women oh fantastic right? okay so this is great yeah yes. tell me about that but it's beyond women it's mankind it's everybody yeah. and hopefully along the way with some of you know veterans um, they will take a shining to them, want to help them. Um, and millennials, we have to help the darn millennials. We were mill millennials once. I'm a millennial at heart. Yes. You know, let's yeah. cut them some yeah, slack yeah, yeah. and work with them. And it's for everybody, you know, yeah. the, the underdogs. So. so talk to me a little bit, because you, you picked yes. up on millennials, but talk to me a little bit about, you know, how you feel, what, what pearls of wisdom would you give to young women or young ladies at, at you know high school level? Yeah. You know that you would say you know in this in this world that we're in, what would be your pearls of wisdom? Oh, just see it, believe yeah. it, dream your dream. I was born in former communist Yugoslavia. Wow. Wow. We fled with partial papers. Wow. I would have a note on my fridge saying persistence and consistence, and I had the best parents that taught me work ethic. Never give up yeah. and be true, be organic, be holistic. Everybody sees through the nonsense and can I say the BS? Yes, <laughs> you know, they, you can, absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah. I did, sorry, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Uh, just be true and circle yourself with people that really care and just believe. Yeah. Dream it and believe it yeah. and uh, it will come and it will come when the timing is right. Yeah. Don't want it yesterday. You have to be patient. Yeah. You have to be patient and when there's opportunity, either you're a doer or a viewer. Yeah. You take uh, your pick. Yeah. And there, you know, luckily in our business, there are a lot of in-between roles that you can have. I got fortunate. My business partner is my partner for life. Yeah. And David Morton, he's a hotelier. I'm in real estate. I never thought we'd be in global mobility. Just let things happen. As they need to happen. Exactly. Yeah. Don't force it. Don't overthink. Because if you're overthinking, it likely won't happen. And it's not meant to be. So um, You know what's fascinating? You, you say do or view, which I think is a yeah. better term. I, I say disrupt or be disrupted. Right. So it's really kind of the, the same dynamic. But yeah. how do you help young people? though? Because I hear you're saying, okay, hey, you know, you got to be patient. You got to be this. But there's, there's a time on that journey where we right. get down. We just find, you know, and we yeah. sort of feel despair. Right. So how do you help sort of lift them up? What would you say, you know, like, you know, what's that story for you? It's the personal touch, you know, holding their hand. Looking you can hold my the, hand. Yeah. <laughs> really caring. Yeah. really caring and being true and and you know it's funny when you give somebody a little love or you give a company some love your team some love it's like a plant just, you plant the seed you see my oh, there, flower oh, my there you my flower there yeah. you go and look at all the colors i'm I know, wearing you, you know? got you got um, you're exuding the love right there and sometimes like it's true love but it has to be true and sometimes your plants don't do well you have a horrible harvest but you know what you've got to pick yourself up you've got to let it go 
and you have to move, move on. on. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. That's life. That, but you could take that on in so many levels in your personal life, day to day, your business, uh, your relationships. It's work. Everything's yeah. work. Yeah. And but it's not work if it's fun, right? Exactly. I feel like I've never worked a day in my life. Me either. You, will you have us back? Absolutely. So back? Yeah. Merci beaucoup de Toronto, Canada. We're your go to for, go. Uh, <laughs> for Toronto. Merci. Thank hey, you, Dorian. Thank it's you. Wonderful Peggy. to have it's been you. It's a pleasure. Yes. Thank you so much.